Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Lorenzo Marchese, and this is the Geek Authority's Mysterious Chamber of Collectibles. And this edition, uh, like a couple others I have, I want to feature games. I love board games, card games, all kinds of games. We actually have a, a gaming group, the Geek Authority gaming group, that used to meet socially uh, once a month uh, in public, but now we've uh, got down to uh, virtual. Uh, so we do some virtual games with, uh, via Zoom. So if you're interested in that, contact me, um, message below, and maybe you can join our Zoom group. Anyway, um, this one's going to feature some card and board games, specifically um, things that we've kind of played through and I really enjoyed. Um, I wanted to start off with a card game. Um, I put it here in, in a, uh, a Ziploc bag, and it's basically Uno, but it's called Uno Flip. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of Uno Flip. I didn't. I was recently introduced to it. Covered how to play it. Basically, it's pretty much like your regular Uno game with your colors and your numbers of your various suits, and you know you've got to match the number that's on the top of the, the deck. But there's special cards in this one, flip cards, hence Uno flip. Um, and what happens is you have to turn your hand and the deck and the discard pile to this side, and it gets kind of nasty too if you're playing with people. Um, because there's four new colors, you know, it's not just the red, green, blue, uh, red, green, blue, yellow. Yeah, uh, red, green, blue, yellow. Anyway, there's four colors. On this side, it's a teal, a purple, uh, a pink, and a kind of a orange. Um, but as you can see, same kind of style of the numbers, but upon reversing your hand, you're going to have a new hand, and you have to once you were thinking of getting out of it, someone may turn the tables and it's kind of a kind of a mess, actually. But it was fun because, uh, you know, you can you can flip it on people and you get flipped and um, kind of a twist, a really fun twist on a very classic old card game. Uno, Uno flip. Uh, I put it in this bag because I wanted to make sure I could see the sides um, and the box kind of is a weird place and I don't want to get them wet. So. A couple of pieces, uh, pointers and stuff. A lot of my games too, I put in separate containers or Ziploc bags for parts and pieces because number one, you don't want to get them lost. Number two, you don't want them damaged. Water, weather, whatever. You know, like we have our, uh, when we were meeting, we needed a restaurant, somebody's place. And if somebody spills something, you know, you've got these little protecting uh, elements around uh, when you play. The next game I want to show you is called Sketchy Tales. Um, this particular one is Disney edition. Now you've probably heard of it. It's great for kids, but it's also awesome for adults because it is hysterical. You find out who can draw and you find out who can interpret. It's kind of like telestrations, but a mini version in which you're basically creating a story all, all the way across. And what happens is, um, I just want to show you real quick. Humongous rule book, but very easy to learn. Don't, don't get intimidated by that. Um, Basically, you have these cards. Uh, the first person is given a card, uh, like so. You can see Judy from Zootopia. You know, there's all kinds of um, different characters involved, front and back. So new characters on the back. Ooh, Wally. Um, the other thing, too, is there are word cards. So you can choose one of the phrases on either side. Kind of, it's kind of washing out of here. Focus. There we go. Somewhat. Okay. Uh, but the same thing. You've got these little tiny weeny weeny um, sketch boards. Everyone gets one. And as you create the story, um, and, and if you don't understand what I mean, if you've never played Telestrations, uh, I'll go back to the box here. Uh, and basically, it's um, it looks something like this. Boy, this box is really difficult. Um, basically, someone's given a picture of Dumbo. I don't know if you can see that. They draw Dumbo, and it says Dumbo blowing bubbles. Well, the next person interprets that as that's what Dumbo Dumbo looks like blowing bubbles, blowing bubbles. And then the next one, when people look at that, doesn't look like Dumbo blowing bubbles. It looks like Mickey Mouse in space. Someone sees that, and the next person draws Mickey Mouse in space. So. Basically, illustrations, but this particular one is a story creation and then um, it, the Disney theme. 
keeping in um, uh, all kinds of adventure kind of themes. I do like this one. Um, it's short, it's simple. Um, it's got a little tweak, it's called Lost City. It's got this elongated board. It's for two players. So if you want a quick two player game, this is it. You're both on adventures, you're trying to uh, compete for completing a different uh, five different uh, through adventures. But the thing is, it's a point system. Every card is number, er, numbered, every card is uh, means something. And there are double and triple uh, value cards as well. Um, game itself is real easy to learn, uh, fun to play. It kind of reminds me of uh, a Voltage, another two, two player game when you're competing for points and position. Um, and it's this one's by Cosmos. Catch um, Tales. I don't know who's this one. Let me who this one's by. Another, well, we're in the Disney theme today. Another game, family fun. Um, the definitely the the uh, the Disney uh, sketch tales. That's definitely a good party game for the house. Lost City's a two player game. Uno, I think you can play up to ten people. So a lot of good party games. Here's a wonderful party game. It's called Meme the Game. Again, Disney edition. Basically, it's like uh, Cards Against Humanity. Kind of thing but obviously with the disney theme and basically uh, a card is a phrase is drawn out you're given five character cards five or seven i forget and then you have to pick which one you think fits that phrase and the judge who had the card with the phrase gets to decide which is the funniest the cutest the most appropriate kind of situation it's fun when you get kind of crazy especially you know you've got all the disney characters uh to choose from and they're, they're pretty 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 nicely designed um, for example, suddenly it all makes sense. So that's what this card says. That's what the key person is giving. He's the guy who's going to be the judge. And then you have to choose which one of these characters, you know, goes with that. This all makes sense. And then uh, the judge looks at the however many are playing. Uh, Got to have at least three people. Uh, the more the merrier. Is ten people could easily play this. And it's funny because um, people have different interpretations of different characters. All right, again, keeping in with the Disney thing, I can tell I like Disney and board games and card games. Okay, this is called Geek Out, Disney's Geek Out. Um, love this. This is definitely, um, you're going to be setting up house rules as you go because uh, it'll be like a name of film and the question will come up. Uh, does, that, does that include short films, you know, kind of thing? So you set your kind of ground rules as you go along, which is fun. Uh, but basically, it's your knowledge of Disney. You know, find five people or uh, five, uh, five, name five films where Paris is mentioned. You know, it's like you're thinking, hmm, I can't think of, you know, Ratatouille. Um, okay, I can't think of any right now, but anyway. But it's a fun game. Um, uh, there's a, a, a song. Hold on, let me grab the menu. The categories are Disney animation, so the feature films or the shorts, Pixar animation, specifically all the wonderful Pixar films, live action, you know, Mary Poppins, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, although that could be both, couldn't it? Uh, music, who doesn't know I can show you? Okay. And then miscellaneous, um, which is oddball stuff. You know, how many movies had a mother and daughter? That kind of thing. Um, Parent Trap. Anyway. Okay, let's see. I think finally I want to get to this game. It's a great little um, fun little heart party game for two to four players. I got great reviews on Amazon and it was on sale like 75% off um, uh, from, I think you got this at Target, but you got to check your Target shelves, the clearance shelves. It's called Heist, One Team, One Mission. Basically, it's cooperative. Whether it's two or four people, you're all working together to beat this uh, mission. What it is, it's basically a talking box. It's hysterical. Uh, it gives you a mission. Um, you play one of uh, four different positions. Let me grab the, the doohickey here. Uh, yeah, you get uh, you have things like headsets, drills, maps, explosives, goggles, flashlights, gloves, and laptops. And you're passing these pieces off to each other. And um, you could be uh, one of the four uh, characters, a safe cracker, uh, the money man, 
I forget what all four, but it's hysterical. And there's this little gold bars at the top. As you do your missions, as you succeed and not make mistakes, this little thing rises. And then if you make it to the end of your mission, all the gold bullion falls. It's hysterical. But there are different levels. And we, I think we got up to level three. We just couldn't do it because level four and five are, are much faster. Everything's faster to you. You're passing, you're pushing buttons and all this other stuff. So real fun game. Um, clever, simple, but you won't play it just once, I guarantee you. And switch your positions. That's the other thing. So if you're one person one time, switch another position the next time. Because um, it, it really messes you up because you're, you're thinking, uh, okay, I'm the, I'm the money man. And then you all of a sudden you're the, you're the mechanic or whatever. It's like, you got you to gotta go with the flow. Um, again, that's a just a couple, a uh, couple of bunches of uh, games that I, we play. Me and Michael. Uh, if you like uh, any of them, please check them out. Check the reviews. Check clearance sales at Target or on Amazon. Um, great gifts too if you want to give uh, a game lover something like this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. I try to get as quick as possible. Uh, please subscribe. I need those subscribers. It would be very helpful. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your plants. Whoever, whoever can push a button and subscribe and like share and all that stuff. Um, again, this is uh, Lorenzo Marchese for the Geek Authority's Mysterious Chamber, Chamber of Collectibles. I've done quite a few of them. Um, don't forget to push the button. I have other shows, the Geek Authority show, where I talk about lots of people, actors, writers, directors, cosplayers, producers, all kinds of fun stuff, famous people too, um, as well as uh, uh, Talk About, where a group of us get together, uh, friends and family talk about different things. Uh, check out that uh, channel as well, that playlist as well as, um, I'm forgetting something, ooh, unboxing the Geek Authority, where I open up stuff for the very first time. You see it and I see it and we both see it. It's awesome. My reactions are truly honest because I get excited when I get new stuff. It's like Christmas every day when I get stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll uh, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, please, and watch all the videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.